Welcome to another training video on WinBid Pro by GDS. And this one covers the newest version 15.6 update. And in particular, we'll talk about the changes we made to the drawing settings and the shop drawings window. And then there's another video that I'm going to do on some more in-depth things inside the shop drawings window. But uh, And we're calling those title blocks. Um, you might be familiar with those if you're a CAD person, but uh, similar to what we're calling borders, but eventually those are going to get, borders are going to kind of get phased out and we'll strictly deal with title blocks. So first off, we've got dimensions here that now have a little tick or slash uh, marks at the tips. We used to have just arrows, and some CAD software had trouble representing the arrows correctly when the these elevations were generated. So we thought we'd give you another option uh, in case you're having that trouble with your CAD software, so that's one thing. Um, another thing is the descriptive uh, text at the bottom of the elevation drawing. We've changed it to white because we think that's a little easier on the eyes. And then we've also um, added some settings in here to manipulate what shows up. So under elevation description text, and you'll notice there's a lot of things that aren't in this window anymore, and that's because we've created a shop drawing window with settings that now has those types of things. So, but yeah, these drawing description or a description text things, you can turn on and off different things. Um, I can turn them all on now, and then you'll see what shows up here. I'm gonna 100% it. So we've got job name, elevation name, the quantity, the color, framing system, and the date. So the date's new, and then you can now turn everything on and off. So that's that's pretty cool. The other thing that's pretty new here is uh, the layers that you can show. We always let you show glass sizes and locations, but we've added the glass layer, detail callouts, which we used to call bubbles, and then face covers. So let's see. You'll see the bubbles here or the callouts. Uh, the glass, you'll recognize that from when you go to the glass tab it's the same thing the difference with glass now is I'm going to zoom in here is that it's now showing the glass bite and I'm going to go to a different elevation here because I was playing around with that one so the glass bite is actually the true uh, or I'm sorry the glass sizing or the the hashing in the drawing is showing the glass bite so you're seeing the capture inside the frame where before we didn't represent that uh, accurately, where the, the glass was just kind of the hash lines and they were smaller than the DLO. But now that you see the true glass size, both with the hash lines and the dimensions here, I think you're pretty well covered and you'll notice if there's a problem uh, with glass sizes. So you can turn a few of these things on and off right here under this show menu. So the callouts, if I don't want to see those anymore, I can turn those off. I can turn that glass layer off if I'm not used to looking at that. But then for the location labels and the sizes, I would still have to go in here. So you might have noticed, uh, let's look at face covers. You might have noticed the green horizontal in this elevation, and that is a face cover. And the reason for that is the framing system for this elevation under stock lengths has a part number under horizontal cover. So when the program sees a part number under any of these three cover fields or uh, components, it's going to draw the covers as green lines. So that's new. And you can turn that on and off under drawing settings there. But what's worth mentioning here is the covers actually show that they're overlapping the verticals, which is what you want. And it also shows that they butt up against the wall jams. So that's a more accurate and helpful kind of representation on the drawing. Now this is the other thing that's new, is this uh, alternate vertical here. If I go to my alternate vertical tab, I have vertical number four with a two inch profile, but without, uh, oh these are kind of silicone joints here so it's obvious, but with a two inch system and a two inch alternate vertical, it wasn't obvious that that was a different vertical. So now with the orange color, it's going to be obvious on your drawings. So we thought that would be helpful for you. So those are the key things with the drawing settings that have changed, aside from removing a lot of settings from there and putting them into this window, the shop drawings. Um, so this shop drawings window never used to come up, basically. <laughs> you used to click shop drawings and it would generate the drawings and the, and the, uh, 
the details and then it would show them in a tab with the black drawing window or whatever color you have set and show all that stuff there with tabs. So now you have all the different settings, printer, paper size, scale, margins, all these different settings here in this shop drawing window before you create the drawings. So then let's say I generate pages to create my shop drawings. It's going to go through and generate my uh, elevation drawings as well as my details. Now, one thing that's showing up now is the title block. And that's when I'm going to do a separate video that goes into more detail because there's actually a lot of power in these title blocks that I want to talk about. But for now, we can either turn on or off this title block. So if I uncheck that, I will regenerate pages. But first, I want to change one other thing. I want to say I want one elevation per sheet. And at quarter scale with 8.5 by 11, I should be able to see the uh, individual drawings um, per sheet course. <laughs> so you'll notice over here under pages. So this is where all the pages that are generated, both elevation and detail pages, will show up. And I can just go to click on one to see what it looks like before I print it, before I export it. So it's kind of a neat uh, way to review what you're doing. And then my detail sheet here, or page, shows me that my details have been gathered from the framing system. And Let's review that real quick. So from our framing system for, let's just say this elevation, um, I go to my stock length tab. Each component here, each column has its own detail configured. And then we also have a system file name, which is a system detail. So the individual details I can view, I can look at and zoom in and out and all that. But you'll notice there's no call out uh, bubble on these details. But we do have a label that we can that has been added already pre-configured most a lot of the manufacturers have pre-configured details labels some of them don't have the system file name though so I'll show you the difference there so we've got individual details with um, labels and that's why when I went to shop drawings and I hit generate pages when I go to the detail sheet here or page my uh, details have the callout labels and then also the elevations have the callout labels. So that's why everything is kind of coming out the way it is. So that is with individual details and over here is the individual details. So now we've given you the ability to adjust those details. You can um, and the, the bubbles, the callout bubbles themselves. So you can adjust the diameter of the bubble. You can adjust the text inside. It looks pretty good now, but let's say if the text was too small, you can make it a tiny bit bigger. If the circle's too big or small, you can change that size. So um, the other thing is the scaling of the details themselves. So I've got a pretty good size scale here. I mean, they, they obviously aren't true scale, but they're fitting nicely on the page. If I thought they were too big, then I could change uh, scale this down a little bit to say 30% or something and maybe it would fit them all in one row, or maybe it would fit four on a row and, and one on the next. So you have that ability before you print or export or do anything. You can change one thing, like I can change this percentage for the scale, and I can tab out of it and then hit Generate Pages. Um, and you'll notice, since they are a little bit smaller, now I have four on a page. And Okay, the other thing I wanted to show you was if I only want to see that system detail sheet or page, I will uncheck the individual details, check the system detail uh, box, and then I'll generate pages again. Now, the elevation drawings aren't going to change when I do all this, just the details it's affecting, but it kind of has to regenerate everything. So this is the system detail sheet. It shows me a sample elevation with the callouts, and then it shows me all the different details with the callouts. So that is um, something that uh, this new tool does for you. So after this point, if you've got everything the way you want it to look and you're ready to print or export, then all you have to do is you can hit print. It prints all the pages in this list here. And then you can also export. And if you export to, say, DWG, I'll click that. 
it's going to default to the folder of the job name inside the vendor you're using. So I'm using the sample vendor and I'm in the GDS sample job. So it's going to create that folder. But notice how I've got a choice. I can either keep that folder or I can go somewhere else to my Dropbox or a network drive or a different folder on my C drive. So it will remember what location you've selected and then bring that up the next time you export. So, um, but by default, it's going to put it in the job names folder under the vendor that you're using. So that's kind of a cool thing. And then if I select that, let's say I select that folder, then it's going to open that folder for me and show me the files inside it. So I've already done some DXF and some DWG files, but that's kind of a new thing. You can save these export files to a specified location. Um, and we had some requests for that. And then I can easily create the different types of exports just by clicking on the buttons here. So those are all new things and we hope they're um, helpful to you, you know, that it makes things easier, more efficient, uh, easier to make changes and, and play with things in your shop drawings. And so watch our next video on the um, title blocks because that's kind of its own little cool animal. And uh, tune in for that. Thanks.